Hey guys! Today I'm showing you how to set up a flood tray system and we'll talk about the pros and cons of using this system. I'm Alan from Growies. Let's get started! For this project, I'm using a 2x4 tray, a 25 gallon reservoir, two ebb and flow nozzles, silicone seal, a water pump, some vinyl tubing, and a few wooden 2x4s. For tools, you'll need an electric drill, a circular saw, a one and a quarter speed board, and some nails. To start, I'm going to cut all the wood to the length I need. Since my tray is a 2x4, that's exactly the frame size I want. I shortened the width beams by 3 inches to compensate for the thickness of the wood. Next screw in the wooden pieces. I put two extra wooden beams in the middle just for extra support. For the table legs, the length is really up to you. It just needs to be tall enough to be above the reservoir. I like my table to be about hip level, so my legs are 30 inches. Our table is looking pretty beautiful, but it's a bit wobbly. I cut out corner braces from my scrap and attach them to each leg and frame. Awesome! My tray is sitting comfortably on my table. Next we'll fit the ebb and flow nozzles into the tray. Flip your tray over and drill two holes at the head of it. There should already be two dimples on the tray to mark the spots. Perfect! Now you can install your two nozzles. You can add your silicone seal to the edge of your nozzles right now, but your nozzle should come with a rubber seal that should already stop any leaks. Once you're done, place your reservoir underneath your table. After, connect your vinyl tube to your water pump and the other end to one of your ebb and flow nozzles. Cut another length of tube and connect it to your drain nozzle. Alright, last step. Fill your reservoir with water. That's it, you're ready to go. All you have to do is plug in your water pump and your tray is ready to be flooded. You can adjust the height of your drain nozzle to control the level of your flood by adding or taking away segments. To drain your tray, simply unscrew the drain nozzle. So flood tray systems are amazing for big grows. They're straightforward to set up and you can endlessly replicate them to expand your grow projects. However, these guys do need some maintenance. When you're not flooding your tray, you should detach the vinyl tube from your pump and keep it going just so it circulates your water. Another thing is you'll have to replace the water in your reservoir once a week. I know how big of a pain that could be. So that's why next week I'm going to show you how to set up a water treatment system and a master reservoir so it's easier on you guys. That's why I want you to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. I'm Alan from Grow Ace. Keep growing guys. So this was just a basic flood and drain system. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me set up a completely automated flood tray system. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.